Welcome to Frisco, Texas. It is great to have you with us as we have a couple of teams amped up and excited to go in the Scooters Coffee Frisco Bowl to see who will leave here as Frisco Bowl champions. There's nothing quite like wrapping up a regular season with a bowl victory. It just leaves a good taste in your mouth going into the offseason. As we'll see a squad from the Sun Belt, the Coastal Carolina Chanticleers taking on a team from the AAC, the East Carolina Pirates. Glad to have you with us for EA Sports College Football. I'm Reese Davis, David Pollock, and Jesse Palmer with me in the booth. Guys, we are ready to tee it up. Leaves it with the running back. At the 35, he's open. And stampeding through the defense. And that one looked as if it might go all the way, but they picked up more than 40 yards before the touchdown saving tackle. So that big play changes the complexion of things. It's first and 10 just outside the 30. On the ground, it's Bennett. And a nice run there where the defense finally makes the stop. David, given the fact that you are a devoted helmet head, I'm not sure that you're aware there are a lot of other festivities around the bowl game. Did you ever experience any of that? Of course I'm a helmet head. Yeah, spot on, agree with that, but here's the thing. We did a meat-eating contest at the Outback Bowl my senior year. Which squad could eat more steak from Outback? It was absolutely amazing. So I experienced all of its food. It's complete on the right side. And he'll take it in and house it. Touchdown, Coastal! Talk about a great way to start the game and setting the tone right out of the game. You ain't lying. Sometimes it takes a couple drives to get the juices going and get in a rhythm. No, sir. They came on the field locked, loaded, ready to roll. No start here. To the air, it's Vasco. Makes his connection. And maybe he'll get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. Here comes the offense on second down. Wide receiver now comes in motion. He's back to throw on second down. Zings it complete to the right. And a good job in coverage there as they stop it after just a few. Such a great job by the defense winning on early downs. What does that mean? Now it's third and long. Third and long, now I go to dime packages, to nickel packages. I'm taking linebackers off the field and bringing on DBs to really cover more guys and have more speed on the field. Quick strike complete. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. The shot to clears come to the line with a fresh set of downs. Off the play fake on first down. Quarterback strolling away from heat. And not much going on downfield. He'll just get rid of it and live to play another down. After the quarterback and receiver failed to hook up, they'll try it again on second down. They're going to throw it again. Nowhere to go, and the ball is loose. Picks up the ball and tries to make something of it. Woo. Deep breath, right? Man, you, you fumble that thing, you cough it up, you're like, oh, I really appreciate you, brother. I can't tell you how much I thank you because the coaches would have been all over me, but big-time break for the offense. This defense has kept them backed up. Now one more stop, and they can heal off one deep down the left side. And they can't hook up on the big play, and that brings up a fourth down. And the shot clears send out the punt unit. That's usually prime return. Fire. 
He'll come out throwing first down. Got it set up on the outside. He makes the stop, but a nice pickup there on first down. Leaves him in second and manageable. Well, guys, bowl season is here. Always fun to get these non-traditional matchups that you don't see regularly. What do you guys remember about playing in a bowl? I think you remember all the moments throughout the season, throughout your career, and then it's the last time that you ever get the group of individuals together. You say goodbye to so many people, and, it, and it's kind of bittersweet, but always fun, Jesse, um, to, do, uh, to dance with your boys one last time. But another thing, too, I love the swag bags, personally. I love getting the gifts. Yeah, I mean, to me, David, really, it was thinking about the tradition and history of these bowl games. I think that's one of the best things about college football. We're in an era today where bowl games don't matter as much as they did back when you and I played. It was special to take the field with your guys one more. And he's all bottled up, and now it's worse. The ball's loose. Touchdown, ECU. Not content to get the fumble. They scored with the fumble. They'll try the run. Surges across the 30, out to the 32, a six-yard run. One thing I've noticed from talking to coaches about their approach to the games is how many of them use it as a springboard for next season. They try to focus on developing some of the new guys, maybe, that have joined them for the bowl practices. I mean, you get 15-plus extra practices. You start to play and experience more as young guys. The older guys get a little bit more rest. But, yeah, you're building the future. You're building the foundation. You're working on your technique. And you know what? You also get to have some fun. I think that's what team building is having fun at your location, doing the different things together to start to build that unity that will make a big difference in the future. Yeah, there's a saying in college football that your freshman year, when you get to bowl season, you're no longer a freshman. A lot of players grow up. You get the extra practices mentally and from a confidence standpoint, you turn the page. I can remember back to my true freshman year. We're getting ready to play Penn State. We had a lot of NFL in my freshman class, and everybody just seemed to grow a foot taller. They were playing with a different intensity level that really paid off for us the next year. They'll throw it to the back on the screen. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. The shot that clears are moving quickly down the field. Looking for space. Washington. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. Man, that D tackle is a freak athlete. Did you see him come out of the stance and beat the offensive lineman? Getting to the running back. Cat like quickness. Caught over the middle. It's Bennett. And they wrap him up, but not before he gets it up on the catch for the first down. The new set of downs after the completion. They'll throw it on first down. Finds his big tight end. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. Well, I know the tight end did some good things after the catch, but got to give the quarterback credit, too, for the location of the throw. Because he put it out in front of his big man, he was able to make the catch and accelerate, creating some offense there between him and the defense. They'll finally put the brakes on him at the three. A big throw, catch and run on that one. And the shot to clear is trying to get a touchdown on first and goal. Quick pass on the fly motion. Several defenders there to get him on the ground. Now on second and goal. We've reached the two-minute warning, and this thing has been one-sided, and they hope to at least have something to feel good about going into halftime. Trying to barge their way in. Into the end zone he goes. Touchdown, Coastal Carolina. Well, that's a nice drive, a nice physicality. Punching it in with the run game. And the thing, I like where this offense is going. Nice job creating some momentum. Going into the half, cutting down the lead. This thing could get really exciting. Nice job answering the bell right before the half. to throw on first down off the play fake 
He fires one deep down the right side. Fires a bullet. Now it's picked off. And he showed off the wheels after using the hands on the pick, and he gets it down to the 34-yard line. Defensive backs, you think, don't have good hands. The big fella shows it. How about that defensive back? To the air, it's Vasco. Using the back as a receiver on the screen. Just broke the tackle and still on his feet. They finally get him stopped, but what a good job by that front wall to set up the screen and create some lanes for their running back. Cranking up a drive like that can really get you going. It's first down from the 44. He's looking to throw it. He puts a lot of air under it down the sideline. And they dialed up a shot play, but they couldn't make the connection. Really need 50 yards on second down after the incompletion. They'll snap it from the 44. He's looking to throw. Got it in the middle. It's Bennett. And he broke one tackle on the way to a solid pickup there. And this offense just can't afford not to get the first down here. Already trailing big, and the clock is not their friend. That pass not close as he got well trying to deliver it, and it'll bring up fourth down. The shot that clears will bring the punt team onto the field. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. He'll call for the fair catch here. One more quarter to play, and it might be unlikely, but it's college football. Comebacks happen. Wasting no time throwing on this drive. Finds his back in the middle. And just a short, safe pass play. They pick up a few. Still some work to do after that last completion. It's second down. Going to try to pop one on the screen. At the 35, he's lost. He stepped out of bounds after a huge play, but hang on just a second. Defense might get bailed out here by a flag. Look, you want to make the quarterback feel you. You want to get pressure in his face. That was so close, but just a tad late. To the air on first down. Grab behind the line. It's Tucker. Well, and here's the problem, honestly. Because you're trailing by so much so late in the game, the defense now is going to be playing big zone coverages, and they're going to allow you to throw the ball underneath in the middle of the field, rally to make a tackle, and bleed the clock. It's going to be hard now for this offense to claw their way back in this one. They make the stop at the 33, but 10 yards on that play, and the first down. And the shot to clear has come to the line with a noose of downs. Grabbed over the middle. It's Bennett. That is exactly what you're looking for when you talk explosive plays. The defense finally able to make the stop. You know, it's a nice throw by the QB there. When you're throwing to running backs, you got to make it easy on them. So you want to put it right on their body, make the catch simple, and let them go to work like they did just there, getting that first. Back to pass. It's Vasco. And he was hit just as he released it, and it falls to the turf. Well, it's been that kind of day here tonight. They just have not been able to find a rhythm and establish that throwing the football. Part of it has been wide receivers and quarterbacks not being on the same page, but you got to give this defense credit, too. Just like that last play, they have been getting after him. They've been hitting him. And that's a big reason why they've got such a big lead here in the fourth. A decision by the quarterback here. Just get the ball out of your hands. Get it to your playmaker. A lot of times he'll dance and make even bigger plays than he did here, but it was still a positive game. They desperately need to get the score here on third and goal to have any kind of wild chance. It falls incomplete. He was trying to find his man for six. A field goal really doesn't do much for you in situations, so they'll go for it on fourth and goal. Trying to pick up the first out of the backfield. Touchdown, shot to clear. And they add six more to the board with that trip to the house. Wide receiver shows motion. He wastes no time and comes out throwing. Excellent coverage and good use of the hands to knock it away. Let's see if they go back to the air on second down. He 
he's looking to throw. And that defense gets to him, and down he goes at the nine. They were trying to get the screen set up, but it just took a little too long to develop. Yeah, and the quarterback's supposed to you know, invite those guys to run up field on the screen pass, but they got to him so... What a complete disaster. What a... Well, after back-to-back -back losses, team is really teetering on the edge of disaster. They got to try to hold on to the positives, as hard as that is to do right now, having lost a couple back-to-back, -back, because this team has good players, and they've got good schemes on both sides of the ball. Just things have not gone their way. They just need to make a few more plays to turn this thing. Yeah, and then they can do it, and they will do it. You, get, you got to get the players right. You got to get those guys in there believing. Uh, this is part of what happens. You got to take a few lumps sometimes, take those losses. But this team's going to figure it out. You can tell they got the right stuff. That's going to do it for us from here. For Jesse Palmer, Dave Pollock, I'm Reese Davis, and this has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.